Welcome to Cook, Serve, Delicious. It's time to make everybody hungry. Up cam got bummed down. Alright. So I watched Lethal Frag play this game. And I kind of already know what's going to happen. You, you take a zero star restaurant and the goal is to turn into a five star restaurant. That is the end goal of this game. How you get there is up to you. So we are at Sherry Soda Tower. Historica building was once home to the luxurious Cook Serve Delicious restaurant, but has since been in disrepair along with the rest of the tower. However, the recent economy boom has filled the tower to capacity and the owners of the tower would like to reopen the Cook Serve Delicious restaurant and put you at the helm. You need to take this now zero star cafe and turn to five star world class restaurant. But first we need to very quickly learn the basics. Here we go. It's your main restaurant serving area. It doesn't look the best, but hey, you'll fix it up in no time. You can press the bottom right button or hit escape to pause the game at any time during the day. To the left is your prep stations. So you'll start with four, but will earn more as you gain stars for your restaurant. You can take orders and serve food from here. So let's give it a try. There's a customer ticket. Press the number on your keyboard. In this case, one, to start the order. You now have a corn dog order in front of you. The right menu shows which keys to press for what ingredients. At the bottom of the ticket, excuse me, is how the customer wants the food made. Once you're done with the order, press enter to serve it to the customer. So the classic corn dog, ketchup and mustard. No problem. Great job. There are three different types of satisfaction levels. Perfect orders, no mistakes, customers happy and will come back. Average orders, customers isn't happy, mistakes were made, might not come back. And bad orders, customer is angry, doesn't pay, lots of mistakes made, won't come back. Strive for those perfect orders. Click here to continue. You can also use your mouse to complete orders. Try using the mouse for this order by clicking the ticket. I want ketchup. Click the keys. Great job, you just learned how to serve a customer. Let's try more complex food that requires you to cook before serving. You can now use the mouse and or keyboard for the remaining foods. Burger requires you to cook the meat before preparing the food. Click or use the keyboard to call up the order. I mean, one meat patty for the order. Place one patty on the grill. Enter and start cooking. Alright, one meat patty. No problem. Oh. I have to click to continue. That's my bad. Alright. So... All of it. Great work! You just completed a more advanced order. You can always set different keys for different ingredients in the key binding menu if you don't like the default controls. Two types of orders you'll find a cook serve delicious. When an order is highlighted blue after cooking, it will require additional prep work. When an order is highlighted yellow, it requires no more prep work and is ready to be served to the customer. Simply select it to serve immediately. We got raw, cooked for prep, cooked for serve, and burned. You can only prepare one side order at a time, however, you can serve yellow cooked serve orders to customers immediately, even when prepping a different order. So if we go into a prep, and we have some that are ready to serve, we can serve those while we're prepping. So they don't go off and get burned. Customers won't wait around forever to have their food order taken. You'll notice the food is slowly disappearing from the screen if it goes away. I can't actually select it. The customer will leave angrily and cause bad buzz for your restaurant. There are ways to extend customer patience via the equipment menu, which we unlock later in the game. There are also chores to contend with, but that's enough tutorials for now. You can always select the practice chores in the tutorials menu to try out all the chores you'll need to complete daily. And with that, you've just learned the basics of cooking and serving. Great job! Now let's dive into managing part of Cook, Serve, Delicious, which is vital and... Yeah. Words. This is your main managing menu. From here, you control your food menu. Buy new items and a whole lot more. You'll work from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. at the restaurant, then between each day, come here to plan out your business. First, we need to buy some food to put on your menu. You have a starting budget that will allow you to purchase three to five foods out of the 20 offered. You can do that via the View Buy Foods menu. 
You know, there's a few foods that require a piece of equipment before you can buy them. You can go to the equipment menu to purchase a stove, grill, or deep fryer to expand the selection of foods you can buy. The equipment menu will be expanded even more once you've completed your first day. On the left of any food are a series of boosters and detractors. These are elements of the food that can help you, your business, the green icons, and hurt. Eh. And hurt as well. Red icons. Some foods bring in more customers during the day, while others can scare them away under certain conditions. It's called buzz, which is a percentage of how people view your restaurant. From the worst at zero to the absolute best at 100. Buzz is vital in keeping customers. If your buzz is at 20%, customers will slowly trickle in. But get your buzz up to 80% and you'll have a very steady flow of people at all times. Perfect orders gain buzz, average orders add no buzz, and bad orders subtract from buzz. You can see all of this in action in your daily buzz menu. Both your active menu and customers will determine the majority of your buzz. Once you've bought foods, you'll need to add them to the active menu. The active menu is a menu board that your customers will be able to order from the menu for the day. You can serve up to six different foods at a time. Your customers are all tenants in the Sherry Sub Tower and they crave new foods constantly. You need to add and remove food in the menu every two days to keep them fresh. Unless the food has the staple booster which allows them to be kept fresh constantly. As shown in the green icon, the soup, soda, soda soup salad icons above. Those are the basics. Once new opportunities open up, you'll get some optional tutorials to go along with it. For now, visit your main menu and check out your email client, buy some foods, and get prepped for your first big day. Good luck. Welcome! Quick guide using the service, icons on the left. Uh, blah, blah. Good luck on your opening day, thank you. So like I, I, like I said earlier, I did watch Lethal, Lethal Frag play this game, so I kind of know what's happening. Um, but I haven't actually played it for myself, so. I do know that I do not want wine, and I'll show you why real quick why we're not going to go for wine here. So, W to tap. Okay. Make sure, I'll see if the microphone will pick up all the tapping. gets exhausting really fast because you have to tap it so much your fingers are just going nuts over wine has tons of tons of green here but it's not worth it what I do want is some steak steak is good so we'll, we'll do steak it's expensive but it's good beer because beer is awesome Salads, definitely. And let's see, I need a stove to get soup. So, equipment, stove, 650. And the soup is how much to buy? 800, we can afford that. So, we'll get a stove. And then we'll get soup. So we're at sixteen fifty left. I say let's go ahead and spend some of our extra money getting a grill so that we can get like hamburgers and stuff later. Uh, eventually we will be able to upgrade our food, so that'll be good. I can't get a burger right now. I will want burgers because those are cool. I like burgers. So, go to the menu. Oh, soup, salad, beer, and steak. You'll notice on some of the greens, like we have health nuts right here with the weight. So we have three food that are under health nuts, which actually creates a cumulative bonus. I could go into here. So, healthy foods somehow not gross. Having two of these health nut foods on the active menu at once results in a plus 5% buzz with 5% more buzz for each additional health nuts menu. 
Now we've got some staples so they will never go bad. Uh, these are big tippers, so once we get a tip jar, uh, we get more money from these foods. This one's good for during the rain, it allures VIPs, uh, but it is complicated to make. It takes a while to make. It makes a lot of dirty plates and a lot of trash. So you can see those. Uh, we have this one which has menu rot. It, people won't like it on the menu for more than two days at a time. Uh, plate, slow cooker plates, garbage, and this is a work liquor, which means it results in a minus 5% buzz when it's on the menu because it's alcohol. But it's also uh, simple, which means it's really quick. You have late night chow, which means it, it gives you 5% buzz, and it has essentially no impact, so it doesn't generate chores, which is really nice. So we can go into our daily buzz and see that we get a 30% positive buzz over the next few days because it's a new restaurant. Minus five for liquor. And then we have flex buzz for afternoon delight, which is plus 5% there. Uh, during the evening, we get 5%. And throughout the day, we get this plus 10% total buzz because of the health nut. We don't have anything else we can do to the menu. We have some cash. We just hold on to that for now. 35% buzz, day one. Let's go ahead and get started right away on Cook, Serve, Delicious. All right. Season and juice it. One beer. Might want to change that hotkey. Mushrooms, tomatoes, greens, and carrots. If you play Cook, Serve, Delicious, you'll notice I already have changed some of the hotkeys, but uh, I have not changed all of them yet, so I will. Especially the beer. However, some of these hotkeys are default, and they are actually good hotkeys in some cases. So we're 35 buzz. One beer. Boolean seasoning. That one, that one. A Boolean chicken celery. Chicken of Boolean celery. Dishes. Flush. Cheese, onions, peppers. Shrooms, tomatoes, greens, and carrots. Cheese, greens, and carrots. Trash. Oh my goodness, all the trash. All the trash. Chicken, bow tie, bouillon, celery. Once seasoned, twice juicy, one citrus, whatever that means. 35% buzz, flush and sanitize that toilet. Bow tie, bouillon, seasoning, tomatoes, carrots, celery. Uh, steak is almost done. Steak is done. Pour some, pour some beer. Do those dishes. Send out the soup. 
Good to go, 40% buzz, chicken, both high bully and celery. We're going into the afternoon, it looks like, under the active, up at the top. The green thing right there, active. Afternoon. Greens and carrots. No problem. Like your style. Doing good. Season and juice it. Cheese, greens, and carrots. No problem. 40% buzz. Cheese, onions, and peppers. Five o'clock. Ranch, greens, and carrots. Send it out. Rush hour. Season twice juicy and a citrus. Mushrooms, tomatoes, greens, and carrots, no problem. Chicken, bow tie, bully, and celery. Chicken, bow tie, bully, and celery. Chicken, bow tie, bully, and celery. Alright. Nice and easy. Trash. Don't mind me taking out the trash while serving your food. All the chores all at once. It's terrible. Pour that beer. Ranch and cheese. No problem. Cheese, onions, and peppers. Bow tie, bullion, seasonings, tomatoes, carrots, celery. Ranch and cheese. One season, twice juicy, one citrus. One season, twice juicy, and a citrus. We have bow tie, bullion, seasoning, tomatoes, carrots, celery. Alright, rush hour is over. 41 perfect combo. Good day. We're doing well. Alright, and steak is out. Beans and carrots, no problem. Send everything out all at once. 7 o'clock. Dishes are getting done. Toilets are being flushed. We've almost got $1,400. Tomatoes, carrots, celery, call it good. No chicken. Guy doesn't like chicken. Bowtie, bully, and seasoning, tomatoes, carrots, celery. Ah! Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Crap. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Trash is holding me up. Ranch cheese, mushrooms, and tomatoes. Rat trap. Alright, thumbs up. 5% buzz. Juice, flush, sanitize. Oh, we were so close. Cheese, onions, and peppers. So close to a perfect day. I'll get it. I will get it one of these days. I will not push the wrong button. Both high bullion seasoning tomatoes, carrots, celery. You can have your steak. You know that that's that's tough. That is tough. You, you can wait. You can just wait. Let your soup get really hot. Yeah. No. Alright. You can have your really hot soup. One average order because I, I messed up. Trapped a, a rat, washed a lot of dishes, threw a lot of garbage, made a lot of money. Oh, I gotta, gotta click. There's no enter here. Serve four foods in one day. All right, 10% positive buzz from customers. Got to pass a safety inspection. Need a tip jar. Six foods and drinks on the menu. So we need to purchase six foods and drinks, not have them on the menu. Okay. 12 times perfect combo on three separate days and 20 days of service. New item now available. Tip jar is available to purchase. Awesome. TV Tonight, Calf Fitness Infomercial. What about upgrades? Upgrades are special offers that allow you to increase the premium quality of your food. Beer upgrade! Cool. Speaking of beer... Beer's up here... How do I change... Key bindings, here we are. Beer! 
Four beer. Make that W. I don't want to have to do all this nonsense over here with the arrow keys. Who wants arrow keys? Uh, oh yeah, specialty foods. We can't buy any specialty foods yet. We need some stars. So if you click on the, the most simple specialty food, coffee, requires one star. So we can't do that yet. Going up through lobster, uh, banana foster, kebabs, sushi, uh, stacked enchiladas, fried rice, a bunch of different breakfast foods, pancakes, uh, breakfast sandwich, hash browns. I got all the standard foods, which are pretty straightforward. This is chicken. In case you're wondering, that's uh, that's a chicken breast. Uh, we will be doing pasta, burgers. Actually, we could buy the burger right now. Or we could upgrade the beer. I want to upgrade the beer. That makes the menu price up to $8 for a cold beer. So we master the hops classic recipe into a whole new brew. More refined and delicious. We'll even pay more. Doesn't seem to do anything other than increase the price, so I'll take that. Tip jar, tip trays jar. Adding a simple tip tray jar will easily add to your profits for anyone who's had a perfect meal and is feeling a little extra generous. You'll be crazy not to buy this. It's $50 to buy the tip, tip jar and that adds up so fast. $765, we will need to buy a new food soon. If we make 300 bucks, we can buy the pasta. If we make an absurd amount of money tomorrow, we can buy a burger. Um, I'm okay with either one of those. I don't want to do lasagna. I've, I've looked at lasagna. I'll just show you lasagna, why I'm trying to avoid lasagna. It requires precision. So you've got, there are the ingredients in the following order. Pasta, sauce, cheese, parmesan. Pasta, sauce, cheese, parmesan. Pasta, sauce, cheese, parmesan. Then you cook it. And then you're done. I think that's all, that's all you have to do. Yeah. That's it. And if you get it wrong... Then it's a problem. I mean, I could probably get used to lasagna, but I'm avoiding it for now. I don't want to have to deal with it. I'd rather deal with burgers and pasta, which are much easier. You'll see those, so I won't demo them for you yet. Uh, right, no menu rot. 60% buzz today, because we had a, a fantastic grand opening. 50 perfect orders caused 25% more buzz. 25% buzz. Nice. I like that. Now we're at 60% buzz. Today will be a lot busier than yesterday was. Bowtie, bullion, seasoning, tomatoes, carrots, celery, ranch, cheese, onions, and peppers. No problem. Dishes. Someone left the dishes. Night crew. Come on. Chicken bow tie, bully and celery. Except we are the night crew. Chicken bow tie, bully and celery. Watching this game will make you hungry. Eventually. We can have that. Tomatoes, carrots, celery. Chicken bow tie, bully and celery. Flush and sanitize that toilet. We got the beer. No problem. Hey, eight dollar tip. That's a nice tip. This must be like a wow, another eight dollar tip. Well, it is the the big tipper. That's soup. Ranch, greens, and carrots. It generates more tips, so that makes sense that it would be eight dollars. I don't know what it means by like juicy and citrusy. One season, twice juicy, one citrus. Whatever that means. Pour that beer. Oh, it went over. Chicken, bow tie, bouillon, celery. I over, over foamed the beer. Season three times with a juicy. Ranch and cheese. I like it. Dishes. Beer. 
chicken, bow tie, bouillon, and celery. One season, twice juice with citrus. One beer. Be more careful with the beer. Ranch and cheese. Ranch, greens, and carrots. Got a beer. Oh, that was close. Ranch, cheese, onions, and peppers. Chicken, bow tie, bouillon, and celery. Season three times with the juice. Flush the toilet. Chicken, bow tie, bouillon, and celery. Chicken, bow tie, bouillon, and celery. Enjoy your soup. Trash. All the trash. That's not good. Sanitize. Dishes. Ranch cheese, bacon croutons, onions and peppers. Alright, we're doing good. One beer. Aha. Two dollar tip. Well, thank you. It's better than no tip. Like, seriously, like a 10 cent tip is better than no tip. Tip anything. Although, pre preferably put that in, like, full bills, not... Not, not, uh, those metal things. Coins. Not the coins. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't remember what coins are called. There's one that's, like, right there. Except it's a penny, and it's, like, completely pointless. Yep, that's a penny. Alright, chicken, bow tie, bully, and celery. Chicken, bow tie, bully, and celery. Okay, keep my fingers away from one. Even though I already messed up an order today. Messed up a beer. How hard is it to mess up a beer? One season, twice juicy, one citrus. Chicken, bow tie, bully, and celery. One season, twice juicy, one citrus. Ranch and cheese, dishes, toilets, bow tie, bullion, seasoning, tomatoes, carrots, celery, beer, bow tie, bullion, seasoning, tomatoes, carrots, celery, ranch cheese, everything on it, mushrooms, tomatoes, greens, and carrots, trash, I don't like trash, four, Five, it's so time consuming. Bowtie bullion seasoning tomatoes, carrots, celery, beer. Bowtie bullion seasoning tomatoes, carrots, celery, greens and carrots, no problem. Flush that toilet. Chicken, bowtie bullion, and celery. Ranch cheese, everything on it. Alright, no problem. Dishes. Ranch cheese, bacon croutons. Ranch cheese. Thumbs up. Give me that 5% buzz. Ranch cheese. 70% buzz right now. This is nuts. Oh, I didn't get rid of all the trash. I thought it was all the trash. That's my bad. Cheese, greens, and carrots. Ah, my nose is, like, itchy. I don't know why. One season, twice juicy, one citrus. Darn it, nose. The fly is dead. The fly is gone now. In case you guys were wondering. Bowtie, bullion, seasoning, tomatoes, carrots, celery, cheese, onions, and peppers. Then two orders out at once. Uh, bowtie... Boolean seasoning, tomatoes, carrots, thingamabobs, do the dishes. That toilet right before closing, that toilet. Hey, look at that money. Leet. 1337. That's old school. That steak is done. 1347. Not a bad day. 582 dollars.
That's not bad. One average order. That's sad though. Like I shouldn't I shouldn't have missed that. I really shouldn't have missed that. $36 in tips though. Then you uh Scott Stock picks three. Awesome date last night. Fried chicken. Wanted to share the wealth. $250. I just won the lottery the other day and I thought my favorite restaurant should get a little slice of the pie. Well, thank you. 6 a.m. The National Weather Brigade has issued a rain warning in effect for the afternoon hours. For us. Menu rod. So we need to buy food. We can buy burgers. Let's do that. Like everything. All of our money. Alright, dump that. Throw some burgers on there. Not that. Buzz. 32% buzz. And we have rain food. And it will be raining today. So that'll give us extra buzz while it's raining in the afternoon. That'll be good. Uh, can't buy anything more there. I guess we're good to go. Start a new day tomorrow.